And speaking of that Duke game, December 10th will mark the first time in over two decades since the run-in Rebels have faced the Blue Devils. This has been a long time coming for Rebel fans. Luis Negret joins us now with a little history on this rivalry. Many of us weren't alive the last time Duke played the running Rebels, but if you're a Rebel fan, you know the bad blood goes back decades. The once rivalry so big that Duke head coach Mike Krzyzewski actually came to UNLV to speak about it with Marvin Menzies a few months before the start of the season. Smack the ball on the other end, because UNLV sent in all five men to the boards. It's been 25 years since the last time UNLV and Duke faced each other when Duke defeated a 34-0 UNLV team in the national semifinals in 1991. The year before that, UNLV won its first national championship after a 30-point win against Duke, something the Coach K will always remember. Everyone says, well, you beat us, and I'm saying, yeah, do you know what happened the year before? Right. You know, about that one. it's the biggest loss in the history of the NCAA championship. And I was part of that game, but not on the, the side that had the 30-point lead. Since those days, UNLV hasn't been back to the Final Four, and Duke has won five national titles. But despite the differences between both programs, Coach K knows how valuable the UNLV brand is. But the UNLV brand of basketball has not gone away. It may uh, need to be heightened. You know, that's what... He's going to try to do, but it's there. You know, you have a tremendous history of success and, and a style of play that uh, really made other people want to play that way. UNLV has had a tougher schedule this year facing schools like Arizona State, Oregon, Kansas, and Duke. But to Coach Menzies, this is an opportunity to bring back the program to be a top contender. Anytime you, you, you get a chance to play a team like that, and not just Duke, but any ranked team, you know, all the all real competitors should earmark it and say, hey, this is we gotta make sure we bring it. Marvin Menzies believes that having top teams like Duke on the schedule will benefit the recruiting process going forward. Being able to play, you know, a program like Duke and some of the others that we have on our schedule, Oregon, Arizona State, and so forth, are all selling points, you know. Um, we like to just paint it like it is, and hopefully they, they like what they see, but that was definitely one of the points. For the Royal Report, I'm Luis Nicaret. And a few days before this game, it was announced that T-Mobile Arena has been sold out, which means Rebel fans are really excited about the matchup, even if UNLB are heavy underdogs in the matchup. Now I'll send it back to you guys at the desk. Despite the Blue Devils being the favorite to win, hopefully the game will pay the way for many UNLV Duke games going forward.